Warning, this video contains a random guy trashing your favorite anime or manga. So if you're one of those sensitive people that get butthurt over other people's opinions, then I advise you to click off this video and go find you something a little bit more tolerable, all right? <laughs> but yeah, from this point on, I will be trashing your favorite anime or manga. So uh, yeah, you can't say I didn't warn you so, all right? So without further ado, let's start the video. Berserk is considered to be one of the greatest anime series, if not the greatest anime series of all time, and is well received by a lot of people. I've recently gotten into Berserk, both the anime and the manga, the 1990s anime to be a little bit more specific, because I had a lot of people recommending it to me, saying that it's top tier storytelling and all this other goofy shit, but I'm not even gonna lie bro, after consuming large amounts of Berserk, that shit is kinda weird, nah, not even kinda, Berserk is fucking weird. Like, it's one of those weird ass series where you can't even read it in public or even watch it while you're in the same house as someone else, because God forbid someone walks past you and look down at what you're reading, or God forbid someone comes in your room trying to ask you a question and they just look up at the TV screen to see what you're watching, bro, this is what they're gonna think to themselves. What the fuck is this weird ass nigga watching? Like, they're gonna see Gus getting his booty cheeks clapped. They're gonna see Casca getting raped. They're gonna see all types of rape part. They're gonna see all types of weirdo shit. They're gonna see Griffith running around playing splashy water with Gus while he's butt ass naked. Like, Berserk is just full of questionable weirdo shit, all right? Like, and I know it's gonna be people out there saying, oh, you're just not mature enough to consume this type of content. This takes place in the dark ages. This happens all the time. Like, I have a question for those people. Like, you do realize those things still happen to this day, right? Like, I don't give a fuck where this shit takes place. Weirdo shit is weirdo shit. Like, how the fuck do you justify pedophilia, bestiality, incest, rape? Like, it's fucking crazy how far some of you Berserk fans will go to protect this weird ass series and then try to make people like me who complain about these things look fucking crazy by saying, oh, you're too immature to consume this type of content. Go and read your little kitty books and shit. No, it has nothing to do with me being immature. It has everything to do with me not wanting to read weird shit. And since when does being mature includes a person having to consume weird shit? Like last time I checked, being mature includes you paying bills, you getting your own house and getting out of your mom and dad's fucking basement, getting your own car, getting a great paying and stable job. Like those things are what make you mature, all right? Not fucking berserk and those weird ass scenes where they have a horse trying to rape a girl. But according to berserk fans, if I I can't consume this type of content then I'm not mature yeah that's right people despite me paying bills despite me having my own house my own car and having a great paying job despite me having those things and doing responsible mature shit yeah I can't be mature because I can't consume weird ass berserk where they have Griffith climbing up a tree and forcing himself into an underage girl's room and then raping her all because he got mad that a buff guy left him and with the amount of influence that the Berserk series has on the anime industry and this weird ass fan base, it makes so much sense now on why there is so many horny ass anime out here today. Like they probably looked at Berserk and it was like, oh shit, they got away with that? Hey, let's do our own version of this, but let's do the bare minimum and let's see what we can get away with. And that's how shit like Soar Art Online and Chainsaw Man got created. But enough of me shitting on Berserk and this weird ass fan base because I can go all day on just how fucking weird the berserk series is from a girl fucking a statue and licking it in the process from an underage girl masturbating to a burning body to an underage girl taking off her clothes and riding gus's sword and telling gus to split her in half to the fucking king getting turned on by griffith raping his underage daughter and then proceeds to go upstairs and try to rape his underage daughter and she's trying to escape from him butt ass naked and he's trying to force himself on top of her yeah i can get in my fucking bag on just how fucking weird the berserk series is but i'm not trying to do that because i'm not trying to make this video longer than what it should be and that shit just takes way too much editing so let's go ahead and talk about the characters and the story itself now the band of hawks with the exception of casca griffith and guts are forgettable as fuck and they serve no purpose other than to be griffith's bitches and help griffith accomplish his dream there's about three people 
on the band of hawks that I remember, and that's the little kid, the guy with the blonde ponytail, and the guy that's jealous of Guts. And the only reason why I remember those three is because the little kid reminds me of Guts. The guy with the blonde ponytail, I remember him because he's always trying to hook Gus up with Casca. The guy that's jealous of Guts, I only remember him because he died the dumbest way you can ever die in the anime series, which is to be a horny ass dweeb. The band of hawks for the most part are just tools to build Gus and Griffith's characters. Mainly with Gus specifically is to make him not feel so isolated in the world because he's pretty much a loner. And with Griffith, well, you know, so he can sacrifice them so he can become one of the members of the God Hand. Gus's character, in my opinion, is kind of 50-50. Like, he starts off in the Black Swordsman arc as this super fucking edgelord. It's almost to a point where he's trying too hard to be a badass. He almost made me drop the manga, I'm not even gonna lie, because he was just trying too hard to be this edgelord not giving the fuck badass that's trying to emulate Batman or some shit. It's like, okay, can I please get something else from this character? Can I get some layers other than him saying don't touch me every five fucking seconds? Like, he literally took a naked fairy named Puck to make me start liking Gus's character. Puck will open up Gus's character and make Gus think about certain shit. Like, Puck is definitely a great character and he adds some comic relief to Gus's fake ass Batman persona. Like, he's just a breath of fresh air. But Gus Gus's character for the most part, like, how should I put this? He's pretty much Goku, I'm not even gonna fucking lie. Like, without Griffith being in Gus's life, Gus is just a dumbass person who just likes to swing his sword. Like, of course he has the background story of him joining armies and him slaying people for money and shit like that. Like, of course he has that background where he's been molested as a kid and shit like that. Like, he has a background story, but as Gus as a character, like his goal and shit, like he necessarily doesn't have one and he doesn't really have one until Griffith is introduced to his life. And it's not even like he found a real goal, it's more of a revenge quest of anything. Like if you take Griffith's character away from Gus, or hell, not even that, if Gus never met Griffith, what is Gus's goal and what is his character? Like, I know in the Golden Age, he left Griffith's crew so he can go find the goal, but once he did that, he didn't really find any goal. He just went to go swing his fucking sword, and I think he even says he likes to just swing his fucking sword. He left the Band of Hawks, he went to a fucking cabin, and he went to this waterfall where he was training with this little girl who was dropping fucking logs on the waterfall, and then he went to this guy who used to pimp his sword out and it's like other than that he really has no purpose in being in the story other than him liking the fight and him being griffith's bitch it's not until he meets back up with the band of hawks when griffith gets captured that he has a go and i know i'm being unfair to gus's character when i say stuff like oh take griffith's character away from gus and what is gus's character and what is gus's goals like i know it's unfair to guts but it's berserk that introduces this whole finding the goal thing with Gus's character because Gus overhears Griffith spitting game to this underage girl where Griffith says, hey, anyone that's working for me in my dreams, I can't really see them as an equal or even a friend. It's at that point where Gus is like, yo, I need to find the goal and I need to find the goal so that Griffith can see me as an equal and more importantly, as a friend. But all that shit falls flat on his face because once Gus beats Griffith and leaves the band of Hawks to go find his quote unquote goal, Gus doesn't do anything but go in the middle of fucking nowhere to this cabin just to swing his fucking sword around to cut logs and shit and get his sword pimped out every other day by this fat ass swordsmith. So yeah, Gus's character without Griffith's character being involved with him, yeah, kind of fucking sucks, all right? But Gus's character with Griffith's character being involved with him, now that's where we have some good shit, all right? Because it's Griffith's character that fills in all the holes and helps all the negatives in Gus's character, which is why I ultimately believe when Berserk ends, both Gus and Griffith are going to die because without Griffith's character being attached to Gus's character, Gus's character fucking sucks. But the same can be said about Griffith because Griffith actually has a purpose in the story. He has a background and the goal and at the beginning of the golden age arc we see him in the process of him trying to achieve 
achieve that goal. Hell, I'll take it a step further. You could take Gus completely out of Berserk and just make this whole story about Griffith and the story would still be interesting. To be completely honest, the only time I really get excited when reading Berserk is when Griffith and the God Hand shows up. Griffith just impacts a lot of shit within the story and he's clearly the star when it comes to who is the most interesting and most enjoyable character in Berserk. But despite Griffith being the most interesting and most enjoyable character in the series of Berserk, he has a lot of flaws as a character which calls causes him to do a lot of weird shit throughout the series. First and foremost, his infatuation with Gus. When Gus first joins the band of Hawks, Griffith calls Gus to the back to have a conversation with him, and when Gus comes to the back, lord and behold, there's a butt-ass naked Griffith, and from that point on, they talk and they start playing Splashy Water. Now me, I don't want to read no weird shit like that in my manga, I don't want to read a sequence where there's two dudes splashing water on each other, and then one of the dudes is butt-ass naked, like that's just some shit I don't want to see when I'm reading the manga, but that's not the only thing that's weird about Griffith's infatuation with Gus. Later on in the Golden Age arc when Gus decides to lead a band of hawks to go find his goal, Griffith is so fucked up by Gus leaving his crew that he decides to go climb up a tree, hang on a tree branch like on some Batman type shit, force himself into an underage girl's room, I'm talking about Princess Charlotte who was 17 at the time, and Griffith had to be what, 23 to 25 at this time? Pretty much. Griffith pulled the EDP and he proceeded to rape Princess Charlotte while thinking about Gus the entire time. Not only that, but he has this iconic moment where he sacrifices the whole band of Hawks so he can become one of the God Hands, and his reason for doing this is because he was so fixated on his dream of him having his own kingdom that he felt like this was his only opportunity in achieving his dream. So he took the Beharit and made a deal with the God Hands so he can unite the world into his own kingdom. Also, he was pissed off at Gus and he felt like Gus was the reason why his whole world and dream was falling apart. Which it wasn't because if it wasn't for Griffith fronting this shit in front of that underage girl telling her that he didn't see none of his comrades, his friends, or equal, that he only used them to achieve his dream, if he never said those things, then that means Gus never hears those words come out of his mouth, which means that Gus doesn't lead the band of Hawks, which means that the eclipse never happens. But no, Griffith wanted to be a little bitch and he wanted to flex his shit, and then when shit goes left, he wanted to blame Gus for everything when all he had to do was just keep it real from the get-go and stop doing all this emotional female shit. He also raped Casca to get back at Guts because he has this huge boner for Guts. Pretty much, Griffith does all this weird ass shit because Gus left him and he wanted to get back at him. All in all, Griffith's character is 50-50 for me. On one side, he fucking sucks because he does a lot of weird shit like rape an underage girl because a dude left him. Also, he has this weird infatuation with Gus that completely ruins the story. But on the other side, he's an interesting character because he has an interesting background as well as an interesting motive that moves the story. Also, he impacts a lot of shit with in the series and he has huge influence on a lot of characters. As for Casca, she fucking sucks, all right? She's really annoying as a character and all she does is bitch. Like, this character is so fucking annoying, bro. I don't give a fuck how sad her backstory is or how sympathetic as a character she is. Like, no, this character fucking blows. As for Zai and the Skull Knight, I fuck with them. As for the guy hands, I fuck with all of them. As for Vargas and the Count from the Black Swordsman arc, I fuck with both of them. As for the blonde ponytail motherfucker that keep on trying to hook Gus up with Casca, I fuck with him. Fuck Farnese, and as for that little midget bitch with the magic powers, what's her name? Sharika, some shit like that? She just alright. Overall, the Berserk story is pretty good, it just has a lot of weird shit in it, and I know this is supposed to be a dark fantasy story or whatever the fuck, but that's not an excuse to have all that weird shit in it, alright? Like, I don't want to read a manga where the king is trying to molest his own daughter because he got turned on that Griffith has sex with her and shit like that, like, I don't want to read shit like that, I don't want to read about a horse trying to fuck a girl and then after that the girl tells Gus to fucking split her in half while she's riding his sword naked and shit like it's just a whole bunch of weird shit like I haven't even touched on half the weird shit in Berserk all right like I said there's a part in the story where there's an underage girl masturbating to a burning body like this story has a lot of weird ass shit in it and I don't give a fuck what the fanboys say you might say that oh that's the point of a dark fantasy well guess what what? If this is what y'all want in y'all dark fantasy story, then guess what? Y'all niggas are weirdos too. But all weird shit to the side, the Berserk series has great worlds.
world building and it's aesthetically pleasing to look at to the point why i damn near want to say that the art carries the damn series because if we're talking about the characters in the story itself Eh, like the shit is kind of shaky i'm not even gonna lie like i think the story is pretty good but someone can easily make the case to say that the story is average at best like comparing to a series like naruto shippuden where naruto shippuden has some of the same elements as berserk as far as the friendship and betrayal finding a purpose in life and finding a goal and revengeance naruto shippuden has those same things what sets those two series apart from each other is just how much more consequences is in the berserk series series compared to the naruto series and i don't care what anyone says everyone loves a story with tension they love to read a story not knowing what's going to happen next or they love to read a story not being able to predict what's going to happen because of plot armor and not to say that the berserk series doesn't have any plot armor because it most definitely does i'm just saying that it has more consequences compared to the other series that has the same elements as it especially if we're talking about shonen jump but at the same time Time, someone will probably prefer Shonen Jump because it doesn't do a lot of weird shit like Berserk. They probably prefer their stories to be told without all the weird shit happening in the background, which I kind of agree with them on. And that's how someone can probably come to a conclusion that the Berserk series is average at best. Because if you look at all the weird shit that's in Berserk, someone can easily make the case and say that they're just doing all that weird shit for shock value. And if you take all the weird shit away from the Berserk story, it's pretty much the same shit as any other anime. The reason why I think it's pretty good is because I like the dynamic between Griffith and Gus's characters. Like, I think they play really well off of each other. They kind of have this Kobe and Shaq and Biggie and Tupac feeling to them where they used to be cool and shit, but it just took that one emotional loser to ruin everything. And that, like, that's the worst part about Gus and Griffith's relationship is that it feels so fucking forced on how they broke up, right? And I don't mean that in, like, a literal way, right? Like, they actually broke up. Like, I'm talking about how the friendship had a fallen apart it felt so fucking forced because what griffith said to princess charlotte was just so fucking unnecessary and it, it just it just seemed out of character not even gonna lie especially when you take into account just how far griffith is willing to go just to be around gus or even talk to him like griffith seeing gus as a fucking friend i don't even know why griffith was even up there trying to talk his shit with that underage girl like i understand you trying to get in good with the king and shit but remember the motherfuckers that got you there in the first place also the second fight between gus and griffith on the hilltop when gus was about to lead a band of hawks is easily one of the most iconic moments in anime history and also one last thing can everyone on youtube please stop saying that griffith did nothing wrong like griffith did so much fucked up shit in this series not only did he do the eclipse not only did he rape an underage girl not only did he fucking psychologically manipulate and mind fuck Casca, like he did so much wrong in this series all because Gus left him, which it wasn't Gus's fault, it was his fault because he wasn't being real with himself. So please, can everyone stop saying this stupid shit for the sake of having the video out? But that's pretty much all I have to say about the Berserk series. Like I said, Berserk is pretty good, but it has a lot of weird shit in it. And I know there's gonna to be a lot of people that say oh berserk is just too mature for you you can't handle it well i tell you what i dare you to go to a barnes and noble or a bookstore or a library any type of bookstore all right and i want you to start your own book club get 10 random ass people all right and i want you to give them all berserk volumes read the first 10 chapters and after that i want you to look up and look at them i guarantee you that all of them will be staring at you looking at you like you're some type of weirdo asking you hey why the fuck did you give us this weird shit but that's pretty much all i have to say if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe i very much appreciate it it's your boy trigger senpai and i'm out man peace